Tonight's special segment, the quest to find an easier way to control asthma. Common vitamin could be the key, at least for some patients. Health Beat reporter Sylvia Perez here with the tales on a national study that has Chicago ties. Ron and Kathy, vitamin D, which is a product of sun exposure, is rapidly gaining status as a wonder nutrient for everything from cancer to multiple sclerosis. Asthma is no exception. Recent studies suggest lack of this vitamin can impact the disease, but what sounds logical doesn't always pan out. Local patients are getting in on a study to see if vitamin D is not only safe, but worth the effort. Mary Merrick has taken up the harmonica for two reasons. One, she loves the blues. Two, she's willing to try anything to help strengthen her lungs. Get deep breath in and blast it. Go, 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 go. This flow meter measures her lung capacity and helps keep track of her asthma. Merrick has asthma and has been struggling with it for years. I've been in intensive care. I've been uh, code red a couple of times. It's like you're drowning. Merrick takes preventative medication, but like many other patients, it's not always a guarantee her asthma will stay under control. She knows the usual triggers to watch for, ragweed season, cats, and cigarette smoke. There's been substantial information that people with low vitamin D levels have increased risk of asthma and may have more severe asthma. Several Chicago area hospitals, including Northwestern and UIC, are taking part in a study to find out if vitamin D can help make inhaled corticosteroids work better. There are several reasons as to why this might work. Vitamin D may, have a, may, may be able to uh, temper some of the inflammation, the irritation that occurs in patients with asthma. Another way it may work is that Vitamin D may be able to make inhaled steroids, which is the major treatment of patients with asthma. It may allow these inhaled steroids to work more effectively. One catch, participants will not know if they're actually getting the vitamin or a pretend pill. Volunteers must be at least 18 years old. Those with insufficient vitamin D levels and asthma that is not well controlled are eligible to enroll in the main part of the study. In some cases, we might even find you may need less medicines for asthma. So this is the exciting part of this study. But the researchers are quick to temper their enthusiasm with a warning for anyone who considers self-medicating by taking vitamin D supplements on their own. Definitely not a good idea. Sometimes, while the logic may be there, when you actually conduct a study, you realize that people don't get better. In some cases, we also find what we think might be a, a beneficial treatment actually has harm. Mary Merrick's son also suffers from asthma. She says the hope of a healthier future for him is reason enough to be part of this research. I'm very passionate about it. Um, I just, there should be a cure. There should be. It, and if it's as simple as vitamin D, how easy is that? Now, this project is being funded by the National Institutes of Health, and some 17 centers across the country will be enrolling patients. Hospitals in the Chicago area are also participating. You can find more information on our website, abc7chicago.com. Don't you feel like you're hearing about vitamin D more and more? So this yeah. is another From you. way. Yeah, another way people are looking at it. Okay, so yeah. spend time in the sun, but don't spend time in the sun. Just move out of Chicago, yeah, right? right.